So today, believe it or not, we're actually in February and it's quite cool and cloudy, but we're here at Barangaroo and we're going to go and head over to the Crown. So we're going to check out what's inside and we're actually going to go and have a really big dinner. Let's go. So this is actually February in Sydney and it's not your typical day in summer because it's actually quite cool. We've been having very hot weather, but today it feels like I'm in autumn. It's quite a nice little walk actually. So if you ever come into Sydney, want to walk along the coastline a bit, come down here and go for a nice walk. There's some parks over that side as well. Apparently, Taylor Swift is staying there tonight. But she's got a concert on, so we won't be seeing her here while we're here. Rain. It was supposed to rain a bit, but luckily it's not. So we can obviously sit along the shoreline. Lots of little places you can just have a rest, take some photos, watch the water, the ferries go by. So you have our famous yellow ferries that go along the Sydney Harbour as well. So on the right here, or on the left here, to your left, this is actually a movie cinema, outdoor cinema, and people can book, I think you guys, from the 12th of June to the 14th of April. Book your tickets and go in, and they can watch some movies outside, lying down as if you're in bed. Move in bed, move eat in bed. All right, we're approaching the crowd now. All right, so we're about to enter. About to enter the crown now. Oh look, there's a someone's got a big thing going on. These doors are never want to get stuck there. This is one of the entry. Epicurean, we've arrived, is on level five of this building. But right outside is actually the swimming pool area for the local hotels members. Hello. How are you? Good, good. Have you been to Epicurean? No, this is our first time, so we're very excited. Would you like me to show you around? Sure. Oh, yes. Why not? For the first section, it's going to be the interior section. Uh, my, one of my favourite sections. Look forward to coming to that later. <laughs> Next up will be our reception section. Okay. Cool. Lots of food. Lots and of seafood. Next will be our pastry section. Okay. The Shakura, yeah. Ah, uh, my favourite. I look forward to that one. <laughs> <laughs> the next would be our rustering. Rustering, yep. From that end to that end would be our Asian section. Asian section, okay. And lastly would be our Asian okay. section. Asian there. section there, yep. Stick the Perseus now. Oh, cool, yep. Thank you. Wow. Views of this uh, water is nice too. Oh, cool. Thank you. We are at the Epicurean, so this is the Indian section of food. So we've actually got the condiments, papadams, garlic naan, and then you've got the dal. I think that's the okra. And then you've got the coconut rice, prawns, butter chicken, chicken wings, and then lots of sauces. And then this is the Peking duck. We've got the pancakes with the Peking duck. I think the skin could look a little bit crispier, but we'll try and see what it tastes like later. Soy chicken, crispy pork and char sil. And you see the lady chopping and making all that food. And you got the uh, you got laksa and tom yum. 
suit. Tom Yum Gai is more like a coconut base. And then your laksa, Malaysian laksa soup. You got your noodles and your condiments, so you, you can put what you would like, and I think she just pours that in for you. And then you've got your dim sim section, so your custard bun, vegetable dumpling, prawn and pork silmai, barbecue pork buns, hagao. There's the pork spare ribs and the bean curd rolls, which are usually a favourite in Yamcha. If you haven't tried it, you should. And then we've got the vegetables, broccolini. They've got the black mussel, red duck curry, a bit as your Thai, pumpkin mi corn noodles, Thai fried rice, uh, Thai crab fried rice, I said that wrong, steamed rice. And then you've got some Vietnamese rice paper roll with tofu, uh, fried tofu, on oh, no, a marinated tofu, I'm not sure how that is. And then you've got the Vietnamese rice, prawn rice paper. And then your papaya salad, which is always a favourite for Thai food. And then on this side, there's the caprice skewers. And then can cannelloni mushroom. That's your pasta, gnocchi, with asparagus, margarita pizza, chicken pita, Tuscan pizza. It's all nicely done. And then you've got your soup, leek and potato. There's a cauliflower, charred cauliflower steaks, confit duck, roasted potatoes, your carrots and vegetables, and then your green vegetables. And then there is the pork belly and the crackling. And then there's also the roast Yorkshire pudding lamb shoulder, that lamb shoulder and beef cube roll. There's a whole salmon and then baked oysters, oyster casino and harissa prawn. And then this is a cashmere chili chicken and pickle sliced cucumber on toast. Little appetizer. Got lots of bread. So this is the kichuri section so you've got your breadsticks and nuts and there's honeycomb sultanas and things quail eggs and you have all your cheese everyone's streaming in now because we just a bit later so you got your cheeses here have your pastrami, your drug, capocho, even duck liver pate, duck roulette, prosciutto, and your sort of pickles and preserves as well. And then this is probably the most famous part with the crowd. I don't know which way we're going. The salad section. So all the sauces. And then there's the salads. Pasta. This is your sauces for dessert. This is desserts. So we got all our dessert sauces. There's a bread and butter pudding. There's a bread and butter pudding. And then you've got an Earl Grey and hazelnut tart. And that looks like a... There's no, there's, no, there's no sign on that one, so I'm not sure what cake that is. Almost looks like a sticky date pudding there. Coffee Masco Pony. New York Baked Cheesecake. Chocolate Avocado Mousse Tart for the vegans. There's a Yuzu. That was a tart pineapple cherry. That's a tiramisu tart. You've got your praline and raspberry financiers. And then you've also got the yuzu. And then you've got all these little chocolate barks and lollies for the kitties. So there's some donuts. And you've got the chocolate fondue with all your strawberries and marshmallows. So the tower of strawberries. <laughs> you want to put your mouth right under that one? <laughs> And all these little tarts, so assorted cheesecakes, mixed tart, salted mixed nut tart, cherry, white 
white chantilly with salted caramel, chocolate avocado mousse tart. So they've got a few different vegan stuff, so almond lemon loaf, macaroons, almond loaf. Looks a bit like Christmas. And then you've got the assorted macaroons as well. And then there's a puff pastry apricot pistachio. And then you've got your sorbets. So raspberry and mandarin sorbet. Then you've got the chocolate ice cream, co coffee ice cream and vanilla. And then on the other side, just at the end, it's more cheesecakes. And then there's the mango next row, mango, sago, sago mango mousse. And then more Earl Grey hazelnut, strawberry yogurt slice, and pistachio strawberry fiancia. So we got tuna, from what you can see. Tuna, kingfish, salmon. What else would they have? There's one more. Tuna, oh, scallop sashimi. That's got my name on all that. I'll definitely do that seaweed. And you got this sashimi on its own. So you got salmon, kingfish, and tuna. And then they've got a surf clam salad. Okay, that's Tobiko sushi, sashimi salad. So good. <laughs> How many would you like? Two? Yeah. I'll get three. Thank you so much. Okay, we got oysters. Okay, my plate of oysters. And then there's, we're just lining up so you can see the people ahead. There's a line up. So there are limes, if you like limes as well. Or you can have a lemon. Maybe. We'll get one of these because you need to crack your claws. And they've got the big prawns. Oh, they're very good size, aren't they? So we've got prawns. See how big they're, nice and red. Got some, so you got, they are Queensland tiger prawns, and then there's some bowls for goldie. They're like little pippies. Give you some as well. And there's blue lip mussels. Oh, there's Balmain bugs. Which is what I like to have. Give you one, two. There's black mussels, you got mixed seafood salad, there's lobster tails. Right for this lady. We've got a lobster tail. Oh, lined up the other way. Which one are they? Black mussels. My plate's gonna go very full. Seafood. Sorry, I might have two of these. These are scallop ceviche. Curd kingfish calamari dressing. Sorry, I'm gonna put it on this side for you. Might as well. These are scrub ones with meat. How many would you like? Oh, I got the wrong piece. King crab. What's king crab? You got your sauces, some salads that comes along here. So you've got your salmon pastrami, and then you got some bean salad, potato salad, your greens that so make your own salad. You got tabbouleh, and then there's hummus and crushed avocado and all the other dressings. But our plate is full, and we're going to go back to our table. See? <laughs> Ching! We've got fruit. So you've got your whole fruits, nashi pears, and then you've got the nashi pears and peaches, bananas and apples. But then you've got your watermelon, rock melon, honeydew, grapefruit, fruit salad, 
and then it kind of repeats itself. So that's the repeat, and then you've got passion fruit, and kiwi fruit, and then orange, papaya, fruit salad and papaya. So it duplicates itself. And then we do have the choice of plums as well as your green, Granny Smith apples, nectarines, and then some peaches, white peaches as well. So it's all good. Now we can go to our seat. So normally, I don't usually have my plate this full, but since there was a line, we just stacked it up to show you as we were seeing what we were eating. So, bon appetit, okay? And look at the view behind us. Isn't that nice? You can actually see the Harbour Bridge from here too. It's pretty cool. So you get these little things to wipe your hands. If you wish as well. And because it's our wedding anniversary, we got one of these. Oh, my favourite, peppermint. What's this? Ah, uh, it's pretty nice. These are the little bowler, bowly. Got a nice bite to it. Definitely eat a lot of them. I forgot which piece I have. I think this was supposed to be the lobster title. Flavors were just there. I prefer to eat it a different way. So I would save my stomach for something else. I think the Morton Bay bugs are sweeter. So I would prefer to go with the Morton Bay bug. They've got enough meat in it. Some people prefer it a bit bigger in this size, but it's a buffet, so you can eat as much as you like. Sushi. So, I, 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 
some. So I couldn't just get them as it is. But you've got tuna. There's two types of tuna. And then you've also got your salmon. And then there was the kingfish. So three, three types of sashimi. And this was a seared tuna. And I got a eel, an eel and cheese. And cucumber sushi. So as you see there's two. better some of the other um, buffet nigiris that we've had. So it's not bad, not bad. It's uh, okay for a uh, buffet. Mm. Alright, now we're going to try the Malaysian laksa. Let's have a go. This is tofu. Standard, I think it's standard. Yeah, it's okay. Not bad. That's alright. But probably don't waste your stomach though. I got two prawns, which is okay. But the prawns here are pretty good. So I have to say. Papa yeah. Recommend trying it. You can find room in your tummy, trust me. So I've actually got some crab fried rice which is a Thai version and there's actually a good chunky piece of crab meat right there actually a good piece of crab meat and they just made it when I went to try it so mm. the rice is a little bit hard but it's pretty good overall and then I tried this is an orange duck confit. I thought I had to try it because usually I only get to order that when I'm at a special restaurant that offers it. So it's not too overcooked. I tried to pick a piece that was not too big. A little bit fatty. Probably can render it a little bit more, but when they're doing mass production, it's not like um, a la carte fine dining service. Chiramisuta? What would you like? Sure. Sago mango. Oh, and how's your health? This one. El grow tea. Cheesecake, the pineapple tart. So, we've moved on to dessert now. There was more variety out there than we can actually put on our plate, but this was the highlight that we wanted to fit in. So, see how we go. So, now what we have is generally speaking, you want to try something light first. So, my order will be something like probably the yusu or the mango sago first. And then this was the strawberry something. 
Oh, strawberry yogurt, I think, cake. So I think I'll do one, two, three, and then I'll play around with the others. Here we go. Yusu is like a citrus, if you haven't heard of yusu before. It's a bit of a, looks almost like a cheesecake. This is my last plate now. I think I did pretty well. I've got passion fruit, and then we've got Apparently that's mandarin and then that's raspberry sorbet. And then I'm a bit lazy to buy and cut up watermelon, so I'm just gonna have a slice here. Let's see how we go. Passion fruit first. Mm. That's nice. Sweet. With a bit of sour, of course, because it's passion fruit. Very juicy too. Okay, so my verdict for the Epicurean Cafe, probably give it about eight, eight and a half, probably eight and, eight and a half out of 10. Uh, it, it does have very high quality of food and selection of food. Possibly the best in Sydney at this stage. Um, the seafood was really fresh, the prawns were firm and were quite sweet. The oysters were juicy and meaty. The Alaskan king crabs, yep, definitely meat there. Um, yeah, it was very good, the seafood selection. I, think I had about two, two full plates worth of it. The sushi, the sashimi was, yeah, it was quite nice tasting. Uh, and the nigiri, they had the scallop nigiri, which is very good, I liked it. Um, but the probably the downfall of the sushi is the California roll. Um, the California roll didn't have much taste. It didn't have any like mayonnaise or even like the sushi rice that you usually get. So that was probably the letdown. But that's very that's very minute. So my verdict for tonight's dinner at the Epicurean in February 2024 is an eight out of ten. The reason for it is that there are certain qualities that I think could be improved. And but the variety is definitely there and it's probably the best one in Sydney at this very moment. So overall, definitely worth coming if you want a good seafood buffet. And they do have a variety of, you know, alternative hot food and desserts as well. Um, I overly obviously eaten more than my share right now, so I'm ready to go for a little stroll and um, digest, I think. So that's a Epicurean that we've just had dinner at and there was a big line that went all the way down when we first came but now it's empty thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you at the next one